Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Alcoin Disrupt. Before we get this video started, allow me to declare this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Today we'll have a look at Coty. What exactly is Coty? We will also go through a price prediction and a price analysis. I'll have a look at the patterns that I'm seeing in the market and hopefully this will give us an indication of where the price will go in the future of this particular token. But firstly, we must understand what Coty is. It stands for currency of the internet and it aims to create the stable decentralized payment network. In its system, Coty combines a trust mechanism, a multi-currency wallet, a crypto exchange and a decentralized mediation system. Initially, the Coty cryptocurrency was issued according to the ERC-20 token standards. Nowadays, there is a Coty coin that serves as the main exchange. The use of the coin in the Coty network is profitable due to the low high transaction speeds. Now, ultimately, these now ultimately these are good because the Coty cross-chain bridge is an important milestone for the entire blockchain sphere. It allows marking an important step forward implementing the concept of a fully interconnected internet of values. So Cody Crosschain Bridge provides seamless integration with almost any existing blockchain with added values, support for proprietary registry features such as scalability, stacking, management, and a more. So the Cody Crosschain Bridge links its own mainnet to other mainnets. For example, now that the platform is fully connected to the Ethereum blockchain, and has the capabilities and development plans needed to scale. Furthermore, the Coty blockchain called Cluster is based on a so-called directed acrylic graph. The high throughput of DAG base network is based on simultaneous asynchronous transaction verification. In a simple term, this means that each confirmed transaction must include confirmation of two previous transaction at once. And this relationship is not always linear. Now, what does it mean that blockchain isn't yet a solution? Instability, complexity, and lack of stability keeps it from the masses. There is a strong need for a robust payment system that is as seamless and scalable as traditional payments while being cost effective and secure as a blockchain. Now, Coty provides the seven necessary elements for a perfect payment infrastructure. This includes scalability, simplicity, buy-seller protection, instantaneity, price stability, cost effectiveness, and of course, security. These are all things that are unique. Cota can process over 100,000 TPS compared to 25,000 TPS in a traditional payment system and up to 20 TPS in a common blockchain protocol. Coty's distributed ledger technology eliminates a simple point of failure for enhanced security. But price stability, Coty is creating price stability technology, which is necessary for the masses adoption of the blockchain for payments. It gets even more interesting for cost effectiveness. Coty cuts out into intermediaries and eliminates the needs for costly mining, which dramatically reduce the costs and energy consumptions. So now that we understand what Coty is, we can actually go into a price analysis and a price prediction. First, we can actually have a look at the price itself. It currently sits at 40 cents and the supply is actually relatively large because it currently sits at a max supply of 2 billion and a circulating supply of 868 million now, quite impressively, in the last 24 hours alone, this crypto have gone up over 32% in the last 30, in the last 24 hours alone. That is extremely impressive. But this is where it gets even more interesting. Since the 20th of July, the price have actually been on, a, on an incline, a huge incline. It was less than 10 cents per coin. This was the 20th of July. Now at its all time high, it was at a price of 48 cents per token. That is impressive. Now I've got a prediction for 50 cents up to 60 cents. That's before the end of the year. And this is based on the patterns that I'm seeing in the market. This is based on the upward trajectory, especially since the 20th 
of July. That's when it was at its all time low. But since then, it's just been on an upward incline. Well, I've got I've got reasons to believe that the continuation in price, for one, there's plenty of volume. There's plenty of volume being added to the market, being added to this crypto. You can clearly see that it has a steady growth, which is really good. It's key for any crypto. And the growth is strong. That's one of my major points is that the growth is extremely strong. We've seen pullbacks. But around the 25th of August, this was a new price discovery area. Now, since this crypto actually achieved an all-time high of 47, 48 cents, I definitely think 50 cents will easily be accomplished. And let's try to understand how this growth actually happened because since the 20th of July, which means that its market cap has increased by three times as much. Now, another strong indication of this, of the continuation in price, is that it has a market lead. The market is going through a crash right now. Not a huge crash, but it's a crash that's big enough to wake up the entire crypto market. And everyone is talking about it. Ethereum has dipped below 3,000. Bitcoin is going down in value. So there's there are signs in the market that a bear market is on the approach. But I don't think this bear market is going to be hugely significant. It's not going to be as bad as we've seen it before. It's not going to be as bad as last year, March. Definitely not. Because there's just too much money in the market. There's just too much volume. It's not going down despite other cryptos going down. Other cryptos are going down, which means people are selling their crypto. This crypto is actually going up in value. It's got a strong market lead because it's not doing what other cryptos are doing. When other people are selling their crypto, people are actually buying this crypto. They're actually buying Koti. So that obviously makes a lot of sense that the market is strong. And a lot of cryptos are actually in the red right now, but this is different. Koti has actually been doing well for a really long time. Now, let me just say it's obviously well deserved. What we're looking at here is a three season lead in the market, in my opinion. Three major times when the market has gone through. And let's start with the first one. That was notably around the 14th of August. It was on an upward incline for a really long time from the 20th of July to the 14th of August. That's a really long time and that's quite impressive. Notably, there was going to be a lot of pullback and there was. And this was the first pullback reason to be concerned, in my opinion, because there was a lot of volume being dropped from the market. The strange thing is that it actually showed more strength and went from 21 cents to 48 cents. And naturally, what did we saw in the market was that there was another huge pullback and it didn't happen swift and fast. It happened steadily, but it slowed down so much that the price got to around 25 cents. Now, this was still higher than where it was on the 19th of July. Again, it's showing strength. It's showing that even when there is a pullback, it's not as bad as a last pullback, which is good. It's an indication that not everyone in the market is selling. And if you want an even better indication that that plenty of people in the market do believe that the crypto itself is here to stay. After such a huge loss in volume, it actually rallied price rallied back up to more than 44 cents. And naturally, what did we saw again? We saw a pullback to 29 cents. But again, this 29 cents is more than the 24 cents that it was. 25 cents that it was on the 8th of September. This is after the second season, after the second pullback, the major pullback that is. Within this second pullback, there's actually individual pullbacks. And we're not having a look at those because we're trying to understand the bigger picture. In order to understand the bigger picture, sometimes we have to look within. But in this case, in this case, the market has made it easy for us to understand. It's just on an upward trajectory, an upward incline. But the volume is strong. The growth is strong, which is even better than volatility. Volatility is a part of crypto. It will always be. Some cryptos are more volatile than others. And that's something that we can't control. So stop worrying about it. But what you need to be concerned with is whether or not a crypto is consistently growing in volume. In volume and in value. With Kota, it's clearly consistently growing. You are looking at a price analysis or a price prediction of crypto. You want to look at the high points and the low points, which is exactly what I've done here. 
Now I'm predicting that this crypto is going to get to 60 cents before the end of the year. And I think we're going to get really close to 60 cents. I think that's around the time we can expect to get close to 60 cents. I'm not saying we'll achieve 60 cents, but sure enough, I do believe that we can get close enough. During this phase, you can expect to see plenty of volatility. During this phase, of course, you can expect to see plenty of volatility. You can expect to see plenty of volatility during this space, during this time, as the price rallies to 60 cents. That's after it hits 50 cents. I'm not even worried about it hitting 50 cents because it's almost... So on that note, so on that note, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's price analysis and price prediction. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment, and of course, I will see you in my next video.